Hey everybody, this is Joe Numbers, and I thought I would give you guys another quick tutorial. Now, I've had a lot of questions recently. A lot of people were asking about CLR Browser and OBS Studio. And they were wondering, okay, they're like, I'm transferring over from OBS Classic. OBS Studio doesn't seem to have CLR Browser. That is not the case. It does. It's just renamed and it's different. Now, here's the problem. If you go to Sources, you got to add. It's called Browser Source. But not everybody has this. It's not like uh, it's not like OBS Classic where you had to go get the plugin and install it into the folder and all that. No, this is actually different. It's not that hard to get browser source. All you do is go to OBS's website, go to download. Instead of going here where it says get OBS Studio, because this will give you the regular download. If you look in the bottom left where it shows the uh, GitHub. It says OBS Studio 0.14.2 installer.exe. That's not what you want. You want to go to download, Windows, Mac, Linux, whatever you want. Go to Studio and get OBS plus browser source. This is what you need. Then it gives you the proper download with the browser installer. You download that and you install it and it'll give you this. And then once you right click add browser source, OK, it'll give you this. It looks pretty f pretty familiar. Um, the URL is where you put in your, uh, say you're using Twitch Alerts or something, you put in your address right there that Twitch Alerts gives you. You got your width, you got your height, your FPS, and all that stuff. And then everybody that wants to run with their own custom CSS commands, it's all there and it's ready to work. And that's really about it. Just wanted to let you guys know, browser source is there for those that get confused. And there you go.